<sighs> Aloha. My name is Daniel Levy. Uh, I am the creator or uh, an author of Humandalas. Uh, it's a workshop that I've been teaching for about 15 years. And it was inspired uh, by sacred geometry, learning about the rhythms and patterns of nature and starting to learn to move with these patterns in my body, in my life, with my breath just with my, the rhythms of my life. Um, and as I started to learn about these patterns more, I started to see them um, not just in the world around me, in, in the stars and uh, the vortex of the wind or the ocean's tides, but seeing it in the patterns of my body, seeing it in the patterns not just of my body, but when I connect with others. Uh, so. So I decide to um, dive into this idea and I start connecting with other people in these types of patterns, mimicking, mirroring the patterns of nature, moving together with these sacred natural rhythms and found that we were having these incredible like aha moments where we just feel so connected to one another, so at peace and so uh, enlightened, honestly. So. Um, so I created uh, this card game uh, as a tool for people to share these types of connections at home. Uh, pretty simple to use. Uh, you, you take a card from each category, connect, share intentions, cultivate the energy with movement and sound, offer the blessing, and then anchor the tone as a reminder, something to bring that prayer back into our being throughout our lives, throughout our days. Um, so as this process evolved, you know, I found more and more magic to come with it. You know, nowadays I share these uh, types of uh, spontaneous ceremonial activities uh, in all kinds of situations. You know, um, at the beach, <laughs> at the park with my friends as a greeting. I, last night we did uh, uh, a group massage session where we started the massage by creating a humandala on the person, kind of set intention for that massage, give an opportunity for the person receiving the massage to uh, set some intentions for that healing session. And then uh, with that we just flowed into beautiful massages, great as a meal blessing um, or as a tea ceremony, um, bless your uh, chocolate or cacao ceremonies, women's circles, yoga classes at the beginning or end of a yoga class, all kinds of wonderful situations. So in our lives, you know, we, we get together, we talk story, we uh, gossip about this and that. But why not start from a space uh, of harmony, you know? Get together and do what we really want to do, which is consciously cultivate positive energy, consciously reflecting and just amplifying each other's beauty and each and one another's good energy, bringing the vibes uh, and the good spirits higher and higher and higher. Hmm. So when we get together, you know, you go to a party or whatever it is, you know, you don't go to that party seeking good a good time. I mean, of course we go there to have a good time, but we're not going to get it from the party. It's something that we're cultivating, something we're consciously co-creating together, you know, reflecting the good vibes, the good tones, the good expressions off of one each other, one of an, one another, reflecting and amplifying, cultivating those good vibes together. So let's uh, make this opportunity uh, a good one for cultivating the good vibes consciously. That's what we're here to do. We're here to connect set intentions, cultivate those good vibes together consciously. Let's do it as a prayer for all the world, for our families, anyone in need, and then uh, and we'll anchor it as something to remind us to always uh, resonate with intention, to uh, always live as conscious, intentional beings. Every breath, every word a song, and every movement a dance, bringing more and more beauty into the world.
so glad you're inspired and I look forward to connecting with you as well. Mahalo. Aloha.